moved to the January 27th dinner, where you said, quote, the president began by asking me whether I wanted to stay on as FBI director. He also indicated that lots of people, again, your words, wanted the job. You go on to say that the dinner itself was seemingly an effort to, quote, to have you ask him for your job and create some sort of, quote, unquote, patronage relationship. The president seems, from my reading of your memo, to be holding your job or your possibility of continuing in your job over your head in a fairly direct way. Uh, what was your impression and what did you mean by this notion of a patronage relationship? Well, it, my impression, and again, it's my impression, I could always be wrong, but my common sense told me that what was going on is either he had concluded or someone had told him that you didn't, you've already asked Comey to stay and you didn't get anything for it. And that the dinner was an effort to build a relationship, in fact, he asked specifically, of loyalty in the context of asking me to stay. And as I said, what was odd about that is we'd already talked twice about it by that point, and he'd said, uh, I very much hope you'll stay, I hope you'll stay. In fact, I just remembered sitting here a third one. When you've seen the picture of me walking across the blue room, uh, and uh, what the president whispered in my ear was, I really look forward to working with you. So after those encounters... And that was just a few days before you were fired. Yeah, that was on the, 20, the Sunday after the inauguration. The next Friday, I have dinner, and the president begins by wanting to talk about my job. And so I'm sitting there thinking, wait a minute, three times we've already, you've already asked me to stay or talked about me staying. And my common sense, again, I could be wrong, but my common sense told me what's going on here is that he's looking to get something in exchange for granting my request to stay in the job. Again, we all understand, uh, I was a governor, I had people work for me, but this constant request, and again, quoting you, uh, him saying that he, uh, despite you explaining your in independence, he kept coming back to, I need loyalty, I expect loyalty. Uh, had you ever had any of those kind of requests before from anyone else you'd work for in the government? No, and what made me uneasy was, I'm at that point the director of the FBI. The reason that Congress created a 10-year term is so that the director is not feeling as if they're serving at, with political loyalty owed to any particular person. The, the Statue of Justice has a blindfold on because you're not supposed to be peeking out to see whether your patron is pleased or not with what you're doing. It should be about the facts and the law. That's why I was, that's why I became FBI director, to, to be in that kind of position. So that's why I was so uneasy. Well, let me, let me move on. My time's running out. February 14th.